Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Bronze to Silver Rise from Hilo L. I am still to one in the qualifying matches and spoiler alert, this is a pretty good day. Every time I pick the filler role I get support. Honestly, I don't know why people don't like playing as support. It's awesome! You're the shot caller, you have to be the guy that thinks 24-7, either for objectives, plays or enemies spotted. You have the most versatile role in the game. You can either be a life saver, saver engager, disengager, damage dealer, come on, just give it a try. It's all about positioning in fights and protecting your carries. With support, so I can play something else. Well, let's get into game 1. We were ganked a lot in the early stages of the game. Zack really wanted to get Ash and Brom ahead, and I think it was a great strategy. Unfortunately for them, they weren't able to do so, because they messed up a little. If Brom had brought Ignite instead of Exhaust, they would certainly win the lane. I do a lot of shitty stuff early, and they could have taken advantage of that. Luckily, our jungler was doing a fantastic job, he got his gangsters right, and because of that, Jinx got fed. As you can see, Remus was already able to pipe on the turrets, and we got Jinx another kill, and she was already on a rampage. So, we got turrets, and then we got cocky. Thinking we could easily outtrade Braum and Ash, we forgot they had friends and got punished for that. See, he's shaking, he's almost coming. Yeah, there he is. Well, Ariel and Sol came for us. It was really shitty. And he wasn't alone. After that, Mundo came and they killed us both again. Brom took Jinx out, Brumu Mundo was able to dive me and got a kill on me. After laning phase we pulled ahead, we got a few picks and objectives and won a couple of team fights. Dolcos was fed, Queen was fighting really well, Remus was doing what he was what he has been doing since the beginning, and we almost got an ace. Well, we got bot tower, we tried to see Genibitor. Well, we got cocky again, we gave them an unnecessary kill. There was nothing to worry about. Alcos was playing really well and got a lot more... That allowed us to push mid and get a few more objectives and kills, win team fights, everything. Well, we dragged the game a little. A few moments after, we got inhibitor, we pushed team into their base, got a lot more kills and we won the game. On my second game, I tried to use my built-in webcam. Oh well, it sucks. And my frame size is too big, covering two of my items. Sorry, I'll soon buy a decent one, I have already ordered it from Amazon. I hope it's way better than this one. As you can see, I picked Soraka again. This is getting really boring for you to watch, I know that. I really want to play Brom, Leon, a son, a brand, but I don't have enough IP to buy them. This was a pretty hard game, I'm not used to play against cannon support, hell oh well, but the enemy duo gets a nice advantage for that reason and our bad positioning. We engaged on us a lot, and we died, and died, and died. It wasn't good, not good at all. I was getting really annoyed because Clad never ganked us. After rewatching the game, I can only blame myself. We lost 2 on 2, their jungler didn't help them either. He got fed and kind of carried the game. He got his first kill on cannon, it was awesome. Now for the bronze play of the game. I think Weimerdinger that Rengar was coming, he stood there, didn't move. Probably thought he could kill him, but he couldn't, he was sloppy and got himself and his team further behind. Glad's ganks were finally proving efficient. He was able to kill enemies under turret, but I was still failing. I was in the middle of nowhere, Ranger came, followed me and killed me. 
Well, the point of this video is not to show how good I am, it's to show everything, even my bad plays. This is what it's all about, it's about my development. We were still behind, but when I got the teamfights we were the superior team. They were targeting the wrong players and we were cutting them. Well, because of that, we pulled ahead and got a few objectives. Ranger still came, <laughs> had a double kill on me and Dez. But well, we compensated that for the red. Here you can see us chasing Garen, trying to kill him. He was already too tanky, so it took us lots of time. But well, we were finally able to do so. Then Rengar came for Imer. We used Zonis giving us time to help and easily kill Rengar. And that was a tower trade, because Jin destroyed a tower on the other side of the map. By now Rengar was strangling a little, desperately trying to get kills, but failing. Because all the members of my team were close, and if he couldn't one shot someone, he would die. This is a good example of that. His team was nearby, so we had another team fight, which we won. Jin tried to get me, but he couldn't. Sorakas kills the low enemies and gives her speed and health points, and he died. Garen tries to go for Imer, but by now I had some HP and I could heal him until we finally killed Garen. Now you'll see two similar engages, with a Baron fight in between. Clad used his ulti in mid lane, I followed up with speed boost from support item, insta kill Rengar, and then a team fight, team fight breaks. Watch it. Appreciate it. Love it. After that, we go for an easy Baron. And now, the second engage. Can you see any differences on shutting Ranger? Well, me neither. Vlad was really important, he basically won us the game. He could really engage with car without caring if towers were eating him or not. This was the decisive team fight. We kill some of them and then we destroy their base and win. And I'm now 4 1 and laughing on my crappy webcam. Well, sorry again for that. New one will be here soon and then I can even stream games on Twitch. Well, see me laughing! Yay! Well, let's get to game 3. I finally pick the different support. Tarik. I'm not a very good Tarik player, but I had a good start getting a double kill on the enemy duo. After being on a disadvantage at bots, the enemy team started roaming down and started exposing my lack of skill with Tarik. Either by failing stuns or timing the old teammate badly. Well, not this one. This one was decent. Well, see the next one. Enjoy it. Yep. It was that bad. The moment my team started to roam bot 2, we got way ahead and we were able to get some objectives. Even then I was struggling with Tarik, either by ulting for nothing, here, or using bad stuns. Moffite was fed and was their best player. He got a lot of kills on Trinda. Here we got a 3 man ulti, which allowed Katarina to go in and kill uh, two of us. 5 on 5 was another story. Velkos is a pretty good AP champ to play inside the jungle where paths are narrow and his abilities can fail. That and Trindam are finally doing something right. This play annoyed me. I knew Malphite was waiting for the right moment to use ulti on us. But I forgot Pinga just stood there, taking his ulti, followed, followed by Katarina's and ending with them killing Gaz and Velkos on the follow-up. Well, we started pushing mid, getting kills and objectives, everyone was going wild on the enemy team, Trinda got himself killed but only after taking two of them down. We quickly got rid of their enemy towers and inhibitor, proceeded to bot turrets and inhibitor, 
we then had to go back base because our HP wasn't that right. After that we took Baron and then proceeded back on the base and well we won the game. Pretty nice, right? Well guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video press the like button. If you haven't already please subscribe. On my next video the epic conclusion of the qualifying series. Which league will I go to? See ya everyone! Bye!